up, everybody? It is your host, Marquise, and you're watching MDG Entertainment. Today, we will be having a spoilers-free movie review on Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This movie was fucking madness. It was incredible, and I loved it. Don't worry about spoilers. I'm not going to spoil anything. But there's a few things I want y'all to know going into this movie. One. Get the idea that you're going to spend the entire movie in different universes all the time. Now, yes, you do dive into the multiverse in this movie, right? But you got to understand, this is the first movie to really dive into the multiverse. Now, I know what you're going to say. Marquise, No Way Home literally had Toby and Andrew in it. Yes, but they was brought to our universe. We didn't go to their universe. They came to us. And this movie, obviously, it's not even a spoiler. We just know from the trailer. We do see other universes in this movie, but they they gonna they they dabble in it. They dabble in it. They try to, you know, get our feet wet, get us used to seeing different things, how this will play out. And they did a great job doing that. They did a great job sampling the other universes we get to see in this journey, right? Let's talk about the characters now. Let's talk about the characters and let's talk about the story. Um, without giving too much away, not giving, not giving anything away, right? The characters was fucking phenomenal. Um, obviously, the movie benched Wong again, and I did not like that. I feel like he needs his moment in the spotlight. But obviously, it's called Doctor Strange, but whatever. Um, America Chavez, fucking MVP. She was fucking MVP in this movie. So lovable, beginning to end. Uh, as soon as you lay eyes on her, bro, like she's a very lovable character. Um, Doctor Strange, obviously, we get um, a deeper dive into Doctor Strange's life. Um, you know, learning a little bit more about his past, you know, kind of seeing how being Doctor Strange affects his um, personal life, which we already seen that a lot in the first movie. But in the second movie, they kind of doubled down on it. Um, Wanda was fantastic in this movie. I think Wanda was pretty much, it's probably be controversial, but I think Wanda carried the movie. I'm a fucking say it, okay? Go watch the movie and let me know what y'all think. I think, I, I don't think it's a reach to say Wanda kind of carried the movie. Um, other than that, the movie has kind of this weird, uh, kind of horror feel to it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a pussy and anything that's like a kind of pop-up thing scared the shit out of me. But like, I felt like this movie had a, a, a sprinkle of a of thriller, like like a little bit of horror. Like I feel like in, uh, in some scenes, your heart will race because you're like, like what the fuck is going to happen? What, what is going on? Like, like your heart is going to race a little bit. I know mine was. And I seen a couple of people in the theaters jump. Um, this movie confirms a lot of people's theories. But also a lot of theories that I've seen um, floating around on the internet and Twitter and TikToks and things like that. Um, a lot of theories did not come true. So yeah, but like I, uh, it was it was a very few, very few theories came true. Let me say that without giving anything away. A uh, uh, very few theories came true, which isn't a bad thing. That means Marvel is getting more creative with their writing and their storytelling process because if fewer theories are true, that means people are not able to you know see what they're going for, which I think is a good um, Other than that, man, not giving anything away, that's, that's really all I can say. I really enjoyed this movie, and I'll give it a strong, a strong nine. Strong nine. I give it a strong nine out of 10, bro. Um, definitely go check out the movie. If you haven't got tickets yet, please get tickets. Please avoid spoilers, man, because that's something, like me watching that movie, that's something you have to experience because it's 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 one like I said it has that thriller aspect to it. Two, it is, like the movie doesn't have a slow point, doesn't have a resting point, doesn't have a point to where you can 
go and get your fucking mind together. This is Doctor Strange we talking about. And I think they really capitalized on that aspect because the shit that happens in this movie seems like it's straight out of a Doctor Strange comic book. I mean, beginning to end, it is shit happening all the time. And it, it, it fit perfectly for who this movie is based around, Doctor Strange and Wanda and the multiverse. Like, it, it, it was no moment for relaxation, and I loved it. I actually loved it, bro. Um, so I will be doing a, a spoil um review soon um obviously i will let y'all know when i'll be dropping that here in the next couple of days maybe sometime uh mid next weeks give y'all guys a chance to see the movie get y'all thoughts together let me see the movie at least one or two more times you know really nick pick at it get my thoughts together before i make that video but yeah that's it i think the movie was uh was great that's all i got y'all